Bonjour, Kinamagi and Nene Ireland Adijnikas, and welcome to today's writing lesson. Today's topic, sketching your plot. In our previous session involving narratives, we were able to describe our characters and setting. Next is going to be what happened. So let's say we had described a character that was going to visit a haunted house. So I need to kind of start listing a plot, aka events that happen here. I haven't made a decision on what my story will be look like, but for today, we'll go with that. So let's say first, you might not even write first one. Um, walked up. Well, before that, someone's going to persuade you to do it. We know every story, every bad idea has a friend saying, hey, try this. Then add second thoughts as I walked past the broken gate. This is, you know, haunted houses never have working gates. They're haunted. They're empty. Okay. And then maybe... Spooky things happen. And you get your climax, investigate. Start moving up to your climax of your story, decide whether to investigate or run. See this. We'll put C, experience, the haunting, run, and then finally realize to, you should make better choices. Now, is this right now a good story by itself? Well, no. Um, it probably follows a very predictable script and it's just a sketch. It's an outline of what your story will be. It's not expected to have your dialogue. You're not introducing characters. You're not putting anything in paragraph form. You're simply just saying, here's the, here's how my story's gonna go. So, you know, you're, you're probably even started out with introducing characters before you even get to persuading, being persuaded to enter the scary house, but that's not really the plot. Um, then you have your thoughts, the story's escalating, you're getting in, you're probably setting up um, where it's spooky or scary. You start hearing things, you think about, should I run? You make the bad decision not to. Something frightening happens, you run, there's your climax of your story. You somehow make it out alive, even though it was just the wind blowing a shutter. And then you finally realize, you know what? Maybe it's always a bad idea to enter somebody else's property. Now, do you have to pick a ghost story? No, it's not October, but the story is up to you. Now, does it have to be um, a made up narrative? No. Um, if this is an event that happened in your own life, then you will list out the events that happened leading up to it. Now, this is the next step. 
we will eventually move on from here to actually beginning to draft your story. But at this moment in time, it is simply to list these things in the paper. You will use Writing City as we have not yet returned into the physical classroom. And it'll be entitled Writing City, Sketch Your Plot. And from there, that's all you have to do. It could exact look like this. Uh, once we have this completed, we'll look through it and I'll kind of give you some feedback. Um, if you need feedback immediately, please reach out to me and share this with me. And maybe even do a screen share or a breakout room. I look forward to seeing the development of your stories as we move late into this school year and getting a chance to create that narrative that'll just be the keystone of your fifth grade writing experience. If you have any questions, do reach out to me via email or during class. Have a minute, Gijigad. Minwa, I'm a pee.